Let me show you one of the things I absolutely love about 3D printing. We're on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. We're using the Creality CRPETG, it's PETG, the polyethylene terephthalate that has glycol added to keep the little crystalline structures from forming so much in it, which means it's a little more flexible, a little less rigid. What I wanted to show you is right here in the center, if I can not get this knocked out of my hand by the print head. You see that circle on the right edge of it, you see some threads starting to form. One of the super cool things about 3D printing, you can see down here where threads are printed, we can actually print threads on both sides, like on a bolt and a nut or on a hole, so that you can mechanically attach things and detach them after the fact. In this case, the base will be holding a third hand apparatus. So something to hold wires while you're soldering them. And like right here, that is gonna be a tightening clamp so that you can tighten or loosen this ball socket. That's the socket here, it's upside down. And then you can see a couple of the balls here being printed. You have to print some more because some of them fell over uh, because they didn't have a brim. But it's absolutely amazing to me that the, the printing is fast and accurate enough that you can print threads on both the, the uh, shaft and on the inside of the hole. And generally I've had very good luck, especially with this printer with the threads fitting with no intervention. I don't have to cut anything, it just screws together. So we'll see what happens with this. I haven't printed a lot of threads with PET G, but so far, except for the ones that fell over, it's all looking pretty good. What do you think?